when people ask what um, what is my favorite movie, I say that I I can't say one. I usually say that the the three top ones are Jurassic Park, um, Roger Rabbit, and the Back to the Future trilogy. Very often, it's it's talked about as being one of the the most perfect uh, film scripts ever. There's nothing in the script that doesn't relate to something else, doesn't tell you or warn you, or and uh, you know there's no extra uh, information or or story plots or anything that aren't all tied together. At the beginning, there was another actor. It wasn't uh, Michael Fox. It was Eric Stoltz, the one that was hired to do the part of Martin right. McFly. Mr. Sandman, bring me there's a myth that some frames or some scenes like got into the final cut with Eric Stoltz and not with uh, Michael Fox. Is that correct? I've been told there are one or two shots with the back of Eric um, okay. from the distance, but um, most almost everything with Eric was replaced with Mike. Where can you point the difference between one performance and the other? Eric is a very good actor, very sort of realistic, and he has to know the motivation of the moment and of the character and so forth. And, and Michael J. Fox was um, just fun, um, you know, not, not as serious as, uh, as uh, Eric. We have like an iconic vehicle. It's one of the most remembered cars from the movies ever. How does it make you feel? You know, very pleased and proud. There are like seven or eight people who have made DeLorean copies, really very good copies. You know, I've, I've been involved with uh, screenings and and events where uh, they will get one of the DeLoreans, and you can look at it and say, oh yeah, it's exactly the same. So it's it's a lot of fun every now and then to to experience it again. Um, you know, and to see it drive up at a premiere of a movie or you know yeah. um so i you know it's it, it's always nice to be involved with a movie that leaves that kind of legacy that kind of impression